oh my gosh guys i feel so strange just sitting and talking to you guys because i'm so used to you know on the go like being on my feet walking around the house while filming so today's video is going to be all about time saving habits for busy mom and i often always get these comments guys like a lot of you always ask me oh my bell how do you do it all like you're a mom you're a wife you're an entrepreneur you're a content creator you're a beauty influencer like yes guys i'm all of it and then um, I would say first of all before I go into anything guys I would say that when it comes to habits or time-saving um, hacks for moms or even anyone at all one thing I would always say is time management is of essence if you're not good with time managing you guys you're definitely always going to find yourself being you know scattered you you always find yourself not organized you know when you don't know how to time manage and the very first habit i want to talk about is probably i would say for people for moms who already have maybe a little bit of grown up kids maybe from 7 8 my twin girls are actually 8 years old and i would say my very first habit will be don't do it all set routines for the kids especially if you're in this um, Western world you guys where there is no help. It's just you and your family There is nothing like having a house help even when you have nanny and them um, help You have to pay for it or even if you don't do that It's just a lot of headache you guys dealing with like people coming into your house to work or dealing with nanny So right from time I actually tried out a nanny for one month after I had the girls, you know because my first um my first pregnancy was twins, so it was so difficult for me to handle. So we decided to employ a kind of a nanny, a help, and she only stayed with us for one month, you guys. I couldn't just take it. So I would say if you're in the Western world where there is no help whatsoever, you have to always be in the habit of not doing it all by yourself. If you have a little bit of grown-up kids, set routines for the kids, you guys. Like division of labor, share chores. They have to be, you know, chores for every single person in the house when i mean chores you guys like in my home i have my twin girls they have their chores so one of them you know they always rotate every week and one person would either do the dishes and then the other person make sure their room is always tidy and well kept and always swept you know at every given um time so for the twins i always share like doing the dishes maybe this week angel will do the dishes then next week angelique will do the dishes while angel you know takes care of their room maybe vacuum it clean it the fact is we always you know we work together when it comes to chores because i can't do it alone you guys like i've i knew right from the onset that this right here is not going to be easy so what i did was i started very very early to share chores with me and then and my second habit is helping spouses gone are the days where men always sit back and wait for women to do it all you guys like listen listen this is 2021 guys like we can't do it all so asking for help is not a crime if you have a helping spouse that really helps a lot like for me for hobby hobby helps me out a lot like there is nothing you know gone are the days where they will say oh this particular job is for a woman and the other job is for a man no we do it all we work together like we make this money together we pay these bills together so everything has to be you know we all take care of everything together and I'm not saying this in maybe in a derogatory way or I'm not saying this in a bad way you guys the fact is like in a home this is our home you know it's me and hobby's home so we always have to work together to make sure everything is flowing you know in the right direction so asking your hobby for help or asking your spouse for help is not a crime you guys if you feel like you can't do it all definitely go ahead and ask your spouse for help and please spouse when we ask for help just know that we really do need that help because we women we are always used to kind of taking care of things by ourselves we love to make sure the home is clean we have to we, we love to make sure there is food in the house laundry is done everywhere is swept you know so if your spouse asks you for help at least try as much as possible to help out because like i always tell her be back home you know you we always have help the madam of the house will have maybe one or two house helps in the house but over here there is nothing like that so definitely we need you know as much hands on deck as possible 
table. Alright, so this next habit is actually one that helps me out a lot. And I learned this when I was growing up from my mom. She worked in a bank for so long. And I remember back in the day, you guys, she would always take out Saturdays or Sundays to prepare different dishes and then store in the refrigerator for the week. So I would say I grew up with that. And now that is exactly one thing I do a lot, especially if you, you find it very, very difficult to always think of something to cook. I know this is a problem a lot of women have, you guys, like every single day you have to think of, oh, what are we eating today? Oh, you know, what am I making for the family today? So in order to prevent that, what I love to do is, and also to save time, you guys, what I love to do is for the weekend, I love to make sure I have different dishes. Like, I mean, maybe rice, um, beans, um, stew, soup. I, one thing I always make sure I have in my refrigerator is stew and soup. Reason is because like I can make maybe three or four different soups. Like right now I have oha soup in my freezer, I have a goosey, I have okra and then I have banga um, soup in my freezer. So I have four different soups and the reason I love soup is the fact that anytime where I can't think of anything to cook or maybe what we have in the refrigerator is not really something anybody wants to eat in the house i can just simply bring out any soup you know you can tell me okay i want okra soup i want a goosey soup i want or has soup and then i bring out the soup make you know fufu maybe um which is impounded yam i can quickly make fufu and then bring out soup serve everybody there is meat there is fish there is chicken in the soup you know everybody will enjoy so i always make sure i kind of <clears throat> so i always make sure i kind of batch um cook batch cook if that's the right word to, to use you guys you you know i always like to make sure i batch cook like i prepare different meals and then just put them in the in the freezer and by so doing during the week guys it's so much easier now for me to just bring out any of the meals warm it up in the microwave or on the stove and serve the family and then my next habit is clean as you go don't wait like this right here is something every woman should learn how to do you guys i remember i used to actually have this problem where i would pack everything for the weekend you know because i grew up knowing that saturdays are for deep cleaning so i would rather just leave everything for saturday and then when saturday finally comes i just get so scared looking at different things i have to do like doing laundry cleaning uh, mopping the floor washing dishes doing this doing that like it just gets too much it gets overwhelming on saturday so what i do now is i clean as i go so if i feel like okay there is um this bed spread is dirty i just bring it out immediately and do laundry like i don't even wait to pile up laundry to do and i also notice that by doing it this way it helps me a lot in terms of folding and putting the laundry back where they need to be you know this thing where you pack a lot of laundry and you do the laundry and then after the laundry dries up uh you 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 hardly ever kind of dispatch it and you know fold them and keep them where they are supposed to be because you end up you end up having piles and piles and piles of um, laundry to sort which can really really be time consuming so in order to prevent that the best thing to do is just do your laundry as you go i'm not 100 percent sure if this works but my friend has actually told me that the best time to do to do laundry in the day is in the night like as from 7 p.m she said something about the bill like you know the light bill actually is far cheaper in the night than during the day you guys and i started doing it and i could you know see a drop in our light bill so probably you can check this out you know try to do laundry if you're doing laundry every single day try to do it in the night so that way you can save some energy you guys like we are in here to save some coins cleaning as you go applies to your kitchen, your bedroom, your living room, your bathroom, you know, anything you feel like, oh, this needs cleaning, just do it immediately. Don't wait till maybe the weekend or later, you know, it's always good. For me, you know, I'm always on my feet in this house. And sometimes people ask me, oh, my bell, what do you do to stay fit? I actually don't do nothing, guys. Just the chores alone, like running up here and down here because my we have a two living space you know we have upstairs and downstairs and i would always tell my mom that running the house alone is already an exercise you don't i don't even need to go out to the gym everybody we are all so familiar with this saying early to bed early to rise and it's actually very very true guys i notice whenever i go to bed very 
late i always wake up very late and also at the same time i feel so sluggish you always have to make sure you go to bed early so that way you can wake up early to face your day normally in this home because of the fact that the twins go to school they go to bed around 9 9 30 and then i retire to bed maybe around 10 at most i would say 10 10 or 10 15 i'm in bed and the reason is once i get in bed you guys i don't normally just sleep off i would probably watch a movie or maybe spend 10 15 minutes minutes on my social media on my phone before i finally then sleep off so normally at most 10 30 i'm already in la la land i'm already off to sleep you guys and this helps me a lot so that way i go to bed early and then probably 6 30 maybe 6 45 i'm already you know awake getting ready for the day so this really do help you know try as much as possible to go to bed early because that's the only way you can feel refreshed you know by the next morning to face your day all right so this next habit is actually very very important you guys write things down plan make shopping lists as things run out of the house let your pen be your best friend i know some people's phone is their best friend you know people are used to maybe writing things down on their notes on the note app in their phone but i would say make sure your pen or your phone is your best friend the reason is try as much as possible to write things down like plan what i mean by this is something as easy as maybe a food item running running out of the house and it caught you on a ways. maybe you want to prepare something and then you notice oh my gosh I actually don't have this spice or I actually don't have pepper or I don't have onion you know so what I love to do is to have kind of um I actually purchased this particular thing you guys see me writing on on Amazon what I love to do is I just paste this um, it's kind of a to-do list magnetic um, board where I just paste it by the side of my refrigerator and then as anything runs out uh, um, in the house I just write it there. You can do your to-do list on this particular um, paper or you can write maybe your items you know your groceries that run out like for me I like to put everything down you know as I run out of things maybe there is no more dish washing detergent I write it down I don't have milk no more I write it down so that way the next time anybody's going to the supermarket it's going to be so much easier for you to just maybe use your phone take a screenshot of the paper you know of what you don't have in your house and it makes it so much easier for you to just go at once to the supermarket shop for everything and come home instead of you always having to run back to the supermarket every single time remember you don't have a particular thing in the house next habit is plan your week or day ahead and what I mean by this is you should have kind of a to-do list for the the week and also for the day for me at the beginning of every week like maybe I would say on Sundays I would just you know use my notebook to write down the things that needs to be accomplished that particular week and then for every uh, for every day in the week I just you know before I go to bed I would say this is one of the last things I do before I go to bed I do my today list kind of I make a list of my to do for the next day so let's assume today is Tuesday right before I go to bed today I always you know kind of plan out everything on my head I like to actually write it down I'm not really good in just typing things on my phone so I have kind of my small um, notebook where I write my my today list by the next day you guys already know okay this is all the things I need to be done you know for today and then as I get each each one accomplished I like to go ahead and use my pen to mark it and mark it and mark it and mark it and it actually gives me this joy when at the end of the day I go through my today um, list and I find out that I actually accomplished every single thing I listed on my paper i have never sat down to actually think of my habits like this until i decided to you know film this video so i had to sit down to kind of make a list of every single thing i know i do that actually helps me a lot when it comes to time management i feel like the last one should be for your kitchen because i notice a lot of women we make these mistakes where you know we leave dishes in the kitchen listen guys listen you can't do it all 
I know it happens to me where sometimes I feel so exhausted. I feel so tired to even do anything, you know, after cooking and after serving the family. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. I can barely stand to do the dishes. But please, as much as you can, try as much as possible to clean at night, especially your kitchen. If you don't want to have an infestation of roach rats and all those, um, you know, pests and um, yeah, it's so annoying guys you know try as much as possible to do your dishes to make sure your kitchen is clean because this it just gives me joy when i wake up in the morning walk into my kitchen and i find my kitchen sparkling clean it kind of gives me a very fresh fresh air for like for some reason i just get a very nice kind of breath of fresh air whenever i walk into my kitchen and i find it really really clean and sparkling so i would say that my last habit should should be make sure your kitchen is clean at all time just imagine waking up in the morning and then having to go into the kitchen to start cleaning up your dishes to start sweeping to start mopping it's just a whole lot so i will say try as much as possible to get everything done in the night so by the next day you wake up with a fresh new a brand new start but yeah guys i just wanted to sit down and you know share this um few habits with you guys because i always get comments especially when i post my vlogs you know that is one thing i love about vlogs because you guys see me not just as a beauty influencer or as a content creator you guys see me on a day-to-day -day, you know you guys see me interact with my family interact with my kids and you guys always wonder like oh mabel how do you do it all you have kids you do this you do that you do that you do that and yeah you guys your time management time management is actually of essence when you're talking about time saving habits you guys and yep i believe that is all there is to this video i hope you all enjoyed and you try as much as possible to put few of these points into into um into what is it called into practice i guess that's the right word because it's definitely gonna help you out a lot and please if you have other habits that can help me because i always love to learn from you guys if you have other habits that can help me please definitely share it in my comment section and yeah guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and till my next one i will see you all very very soon bye